In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure your domain name server, also known as the DNS, for your Namecheap account. So what you're looking at right now is basically the interface in Namecheap, wherever you're managing domains. To get to this page, you need to go to Namecheap and look for Manage Domains, and you'll be led to a page like this. So that being said, you are looking at a rather matured account, where there has already been multiple domain names. If you're using your brand new account, obviously you will not see anything here, except your first purchase. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to randomly pick one of my domain names as an example. So let's take marketingfromthestage.com. Preferably, you can open this in a new tab or window. You'll probably be surprised by the information here, but don't let this confuse you. The most important thing you want to look at is on your left. Look for Domain Name Server Setup and click on it, and you'll arrive at a page like this. As I've already mentioned, this is a rather mature account. I've already done this before. If this is a brand new account, chances are you'll be seeing something like this. That being said, you'll need to select Specify Custom DNS Servers in the first two fields here normally. If you've already bought your hosting account by now, you will have received an email that gives you your domain name servers, which goes along the lines of ns1.nameofserver.com. In this case, for example, I'm going to put in one that I was given, ns8129.hostgator.com. This was the information given to me when I bought my HostGator hosting account, and I fill in these details accordingly. This is what it should look like. Most of the time, you don't have to fill in the other fields unless there's an exception. You will only need to fill in the first two fields. And again, it goes by the following of ns.nameofserver.com, and followed by the next one. Once you're done, just click on Save Changes. And what do you know? You're actually already done. Normally, it takes about 24 to 48 hours for your domain name to propagate with your hosting account. So what you do is that in a while, you might want to check your domain name and see if you can see the content of your web hosting account. That's really all there is to it. This shows how simple it is.